Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. Going to cook something on the barbecue. Some fish in a tin foil bag and they call it en papillot. some fish. Uh, this is going to be more of a techniques video rather than a specific recipe. We're going to use the French technique called en papillot, which would normally be cooking in a paper bag, but because it's on a barbecue, tin foil. Got a selection of fish, some vegetables, a splash of wine, got this nice little herb butter, compound butter that I've made. Anyway, I think it's going to be really lovely. We'll go back in time a little bit to when I made the compound butter. I'm using parsley, capers and lemon because it's just an absolute winner with fish. Uh, but you can do whatever you want, you know, some onions in there, some tomato, especially like sun-dried tomatoes or chilies, and even more nicer, I think, might be some Thai paste. You know, that really fragrant Thai, beautiful with ginger, wonderful. Anyway, whatever you settle on, get that mixed into your butter. I'll soften the butter a little bit in the microwave, melted a little bit, but whoopsie. But it's okay. Get that all mixed in and uh, gonna put that in a bit of baking parchment and put that away in a fridge. So a little bit of history on papillot. It is the, the term is French. There is an Italian term that means the same, but uh, basically it means an envelope of paper. So traditionally it would be done with paper, not tin foil, as I said in the introduction, but we're going on a barbecue with the in the paper would just catch fire wouldn't it um i assume this was uh, this was invented in france but it wasn't actually it was in america in new orleans but it was a french immigrant name of what's his name antoine alcatore that sounded italian the way i said it but you know anyway he was french and uh, he had a restaurant in new orleans and they did it there but it was designed the original ones to look like an air balloon because that was all the rage back then the wright brothers and all that anyway Inside my tin foil or aluminium parcel, I'm going to put some vegetables in there. You don't have to, but you know, whatever, really. Bits of very thinly sliced potato might even work, you know, as long as you slice them nice and thin so they have time to cook, whatever you want. But I've got leek, and uh, where's that bit off to? <laughs> yeah, leeks and courgette, I think would be very nice. I bought some extra large aluminium tin foil or aluminum if you're stateside and uh yeah let's layer this up so a bit of olive oil on the base there some vegetables give those a bit of seasoning and then we're going to sit some fish on it so i've opted for some salmon i got a bit of sea bass this is all skinned and pin boned a couple of prawns but you know chucking a scallop in there a couple of mussels or clams you know you sort of go with it really it's this is a techniques video as i said before so a bit of seasoning again a couple of slices of that now chilled butter and fold it over so that's why it was up one end don't put it in the middle because you want those ends to meet and this is where you've got to be pedantic and fussy make a neat fold and really push and seal that with your fingertips push it down hard and then repeat fold it twice and then get to one of the sides and fold that in twice making sure that you really push that down this is going to trap the steam that forms when this thing is cooking so the steam won't release and you'll it will cook the fish in goes some wine as much as you want or as little as you want you don't have to use wine you could use some stock or even water or non-alcoholic wine grape juice you know apple juice whatever really whatever takes your fancy and now you can finish the parcel. Basically, it's a pillow, isn't it? The paper technique, the folding, is completely different. Perhaps I'll do that one day. Um, but, you know, this is how you do it with the foil. And I just like to bring the edges in a bit. Makes me feel it's a little bit more secure. So you can either cook that straight away or pop it in the fridge. 
I'm just going to show you another view, uh, speed through this from another angle. So there we go, folding it over, making sure that meets nice and neat. Folding that over there. Yeah. You got the idea, I think. So we'll just race through that. Yeah, we we'll do that end as well, speed that up. And then here you go. So you get a bit more of a, a better view of pouring in the wine. I suppose that's a few tablespoons, isn't it? In there. Something drinkable, but don't, you know, don't spend a lot of money on wine for cooking. And I'm not really drinking at the moment, so I didn't have any wine at all. Normally a bit goes in me, but no, not one little drop, honest. So there we go. Let's cook this thing. So that's my new barbecue. It's nice, isn't it? It took me absolutely ages to assemble that because I'm a total div when it comes to reading the instructions, but we got there in the end helping my lady. That's after a few minutes. You can see it's puffed up like a pillow. And I'm just going to have a listen. Yes, you can hear a little sizzle. So I think once you hear that sizzle, close the lid again. And I gave that another five minutes from that point. And you just got to think, okay, you've got to take the, the chance with this. You know, yeah, five minutes is enough. Nothing in there was too big if you're cooking chicken or lamb, or obviously, obviously you've got to increase that cooking time. But these are just little bits of fish, so yeah, not much time is needed. Peel it open, watch your friends delight as the steam and the aroma lifts out as they open up their little presents that you've made for them. You know, it's very nice and it's juicy, you can see there. I think if you do this for your friends, you're going to be a hero. Anyway, I'm going to pass you back over to me for the tasting. Right, it is done. What I'm going to do now, just get it onto the plate. But by all means, just eat this straight out of the, uh, the foil. Oh, there, oh, that looks nice. So let's see what the juice is like with the vegetables. Mm. Courgettes cook lovely. Leeds cook, that's lovely. All in all, that was about eight minutes on the barbecue. Mm. It got really moist, juicy fish, and that obviously the juices, the wine, the butter, and everything, the herbs has created a lovely little sauce. Pretty nice, I hope you like that technique. Give it a go. And of course, it's not just fish, you can cook chicken, just vegetables, all sorts of things with a style on a barbecue, and it's lovely. Thank you very much, bye.